Hello, and welcome to Max 110, the University of Fraser Valley's summer online version of the course Introduction to Media Communications Theory. My name is David Christopher, and I'll be your virtual instructor over uh, what will end up being the next um, 12 to 14 weeks of the summer. We have an extended version of the program to our benefit, which makes a little bit of sense when it comes to understanding theory, especially at an introductory level, because rather than um, the troubled logic of trying to acquire all of it in a very, very compressed period of time, we have a regular course period of time to do that. Now, in order to actively participate in the course, you will need to access the Blackboard Learning Management System available through the University of the Fraser Valley. And I'm going to walk you through how to do that now. Now, part of that is a little bit redundant because in order to have accessed this video, uh, you will already have accessed the Blackboard system, specifically the weekly course material. Uh, but I'll walk you through that as well as the other access points. Uh, and the rest of the video will have to deal with navigating the course outline and the responsibilities that you'll have throughout the summer in terms of success in the course. Now, in order to access uh, the UFE Blackboard system. Uh, for the first time, I find it's, it's easiest to go to the Google uh, search page and just type in UFB, uh, UFV Blackboard, uh, which will take you to this uh, set of search options. Uh, and I'll click on this one here, which brings me to the login page. Now, what you'll do is you'll log in with your student number here and uh, whatever password you are assigned to your UFV access uh, down here. And then you will log in. And uh, that'll take you to uh, a, a page that allows you to access the courses that are available to you. Uh, for students, this would be the ones that they're enrolled in. And here's the course that we're looking at, uh, Max 110 Online. So I'll click on that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change to the um, student view um, so that my screen looks like the screen uh, that you will have. And as you can see on the left hand side of the screen, here is where we do most of our navigating. Announcements will come up first. Uh, the course outline is available here. Uh, the weekly course material, which will be uh, where you access most of the material. And in fact, it's where you accessed this video already. Assignments, uh, the quizzes, which will be time sensitive as they come available, uh, and the sign up sheet. I'll come back to these as we navigate the course outline. And so, in order to uh, make sense of the, the lecture that is uh, contained within this video, you'll need to access the course outline. Now you can see the content of the course outline is uh, here in text, uh, which you can scroll through as I discuss it. Um, but it's also available uh, as a PDF uh, right here at the top of that. And if you want to click it and look at the PDF, uh, which uh, comes equipped with page numbers, um, that might be easier. Uh, so I'll just do that to show you what that looks like. Um, so you can see that the PDF comes up uh, when I do that. Now, uh, back in the course here, again, let's go to weekly course material for a moment. And um, you will you'll will have accessed the video from this week one section of the course, which you can see is not there yet because I'm currently making the video and haven't uploaded it yet. Uh, and the course outline is available here. And also what will become available here is a PowerPoint presentation. And I'll try and have PowerPoint presentations supplement uh, each one of the video contributions that I have um, in order uh, for you to follow along, I'll suggest that you move to the correct slide at the correct time. Uh, you can again open that and uh, have both windows open on your computer while you listen to the video uh, and of course follow along with me. Uh, as I uh, try to navigate uh, those uh, PowerPoint slides with you. So to begin, I'll ask that everybody take uh, the moment to uh, open up the course outline and we'll begin our navigation of that right now. So here we have the first 
page of the course outline and you can see uh, the title at the top there, the instructor, that's my name. Uh, my office at uh, UFV, the Abbotsford campus is B350A, uh, although I won't be there very frequently throughout the summer as the course is virtual. Um, and office hours, if you need to contact me, we'll conduct those online. And you can email me at the address in the next line uh, to set up a Skype appointment if that w works best for you. And you'll notice I've also included my Skype contact there. Uh, the course duration, it starts today uh, or uh, it starts May 1st, depending on when you're accessing the video, and runs right on through until the 9th of August of this summer. And the schedule is really up to you, except it will be necessary to follow weekly modules. And of course, the location is online. And what we have below that is a little bit of a description and content. The course provides an overview and an exploration of foundational theories in media and communication studies on such topics as propaganda, debates over high and mass culture, violence in the media, and audience uses of the media. And uh, it goes on to talk a little bit about the function of this uh, course within the department curriculum, pretty much a necessary first level course in order to have the appropriate vocabulary and syntax to continue with communication studies here at UFV and a little bit about myself for those of you that are interested in having a look at that data. Now also on this first page of the course outline, we have a summary of the evaluations uh, that will comprise your final mark in the end. You can see that there are weekly quiz question submissions, a first assignment, which is a submission to UFV's uh, The Cascade. Assignment two is a TED Talk review. Assignment three is a movie watching reflection, and there will be a midterm quiz and final quiz. I'll go over those a little bit in detail uh, as we go through the rest of the course outline. But first I'd like to look at the course format, still again on this first page. The entire course will be managed through uh, the Blackboard LMS, so you certainly need to be familiar with the platform through which you access this first video, and you'll be re required to navigate weekly readings. The crux of the course, the foundation of the course, is uh, from the textbook, uh, which uh, is in the image uh, on the, uh, the first slide of the PowerPoint uh, presentation uh, that accompanies this uh, video lecture. Uh, and of course, this textbook is available uh, online. Otherwise, you have a wide berth of flexibility in your time management, as it says, but certainly it's necessary to stay on top of the weekly material. It can be very easy with an online course to become overwhelmed and to get behind and to miss your opportunity to succeed where uh, you might have otherwise, especially when deadlines are time sensitive and online, a lot of those deadlines will expire without any ability on my part to extend them. So please have a good look at the outline uh, once again following your uh, review of this video. Now skipping ahead to this third page of the course outline, what we see here are the weekly materials. Uh, and on the left-hand column is the week. Um, the topics that will be covered is the, col the next column to the right of that. The required readings from the textbook uh, are a, in the column to the right of that. And then in the right-hand column is the assignment uh, that is required uh, after each week uh, of uh, reading and student responsibilities. And it would be worth your while to review these, particularly uh, in red, the time-sensitive deadlines. Of course, the quiz questions are time-sensitive as well, but um, a little less time-sensitive than the other uh, more significant assignments. Before we move on to that, though, I would like to point out that uh, the textbook for the course, uh, the textbook through which, uh, for which those readings in the, uh, the column on the weekly outline are listed is this one, uh, Mass Communications Theory, Foundations, Ferment, and Future by Stanley Baran and Dennis Davis. Um, this textbook, fortunately, is available through the UFV library uh, as an electronic um, resource, uh, completely free of charge. You don't have to uh, pay anything for it. However, for those of you that prefer to have a hard copy, uh, a few have been made available at the Abbotsford Bookstore. I think they're used copies, and I don't believe they're inexpensive, uh, unfortunately, but um, for those students that prefer to have a hard copy, uh, you're certainly welcome to visit the University of Fraser Valley Abbotsford Campus Bookstore and acquire yourself uh, one of the few copies that they do have available there. Otherwise, uh, I'm sure that you access it uh, through the UFV library online access, an electronic resource available to everyone for free. 
Moving along now to uh, what is actually the eighth slide in the PowerPoint presentation that goes along with this video presentation, uh, looking at the assignments for the course, an assignment overview. The first assignment that I would draw your attention to are the quiz question submissions. And as you can see, each week after you have completed the reading required, you will be uh, expected to write two multiple choice questions that you think would be suitable uh, for a course quiz based on the reading for that week. Now, each multiple choice question should have four or five options and needs to be submitted in the exact format listed in the image here, as well as on the course outline um, following those examples. Uh, these are taken from another course, so they won't compromise uh, the integrity of our own material. Um, and these must be submitted directly to the appropriate forum on the Blackboard LMS. Each one of these questions is in and of itself worth one point uh, and therefore submitting two for each of the 10 weeks they're required uh, comes to a total of 20 points for the entire course. So taking us back to the Blackboard LMS once again on the left hand column you can see your menu of options and in order to appropriately submit your weekly uh, quiz question submissions you will go actually to uh, assignments and here you can see assignments overview and if you scroll down from assignments overview that's just all the information um, you will eventually reach separate assignments now here's quiz question submissions right here and you will click on this link and it, it brings you um, to again some information about how to do it and then you will simply click the write submission option at which point you can uh, directly uh, type your text in here, or if you'd prefer, you can actually type them into Word or another um, uh, word processing system and uh, then browse your computer and upload them directly uh, that way. I actually prefer to have them right in here, uh, but as long as they're formatted correctly according to that format I showed you on the course outline, um, then either is fine. Moving along now to page five of the course outline uh, and uh, slide nine of the accompanying PowerPoint presentation, just a quick overview of the two quizzes that will be conducted throughout the, the duration of the course. A midterm quiz entirely in multiple choice format based mostly on the quiz question submissions made by students uh, to the Blackboard LMS forum that we just reviewed. Now this quiz will become available on Blackboard on Friday, June 21st. You can log in anytime that day and it will allow you one hour to complete the quiz worth 15% of your overall final grade. Similarly, the final quiz, uh, the exact same situation based primarily on the questions students submit to the LMS forum, the Blackboard forum, and it will become available on Friday, August 9th. Again, one hour to complete and this final quiz is cumulative for the whole course and worth 20% of your overall final grade. This information is uh, also summarized in the weekly materials outline. As you can see, the assignments in red again in the right-hand column. Now, slide 10 in the accompanying PowerPoint presentation uh, gives you an overview of assignment one of the three major assignments for the course. And this is a, a bit of an opportunity for us to have some fun, actually, with the Cascade, uh, which is the UFV student newspaper. Uh, each student will sign up um, to write an article for the Cascade. Uh, we'll sign up for one week in order to do that. You can begin earlier, of course, but uh, it'll have a week submission window for you. Um, and uh, this is uh, an opportunity, again, for us to uh, put a little bit of theory into practice. Now, uh, this course, uh, as the title indicates, is not a practical journalism course. Uh, it is a theoretical course. And yet this um, collaboration with the Cascade represents a real opportunity uh, and, and an opportunity to have a little bit of fun stepping outside of our sort of multiple choice theoretical boundaries. So students will, will sign up a maximum of three, um, although on the, on the Blackboard it's actually up to four, can sign up uh, for even, any given week to make this submission, as you can see, directly to um, the agents uh, at the 
Cascade, Kat Friesen or Jessica Barkley are the um, editors over at the Cascade who have agreed to work with us. And you can see in the uh, first bullet point on this slide um, that uh, you are to submit those directly to them by email. Uh, with Max 110 and your name in the subject line. And, and this uh, submission, worth 15% of your final grade, will be based entirely uh, on the evaluation of those uh, professional editors over at the Cascade. Now, because this is a real-world submission, of course, grammar, syntax, and diction must be edited very carefully, perhaps more carefully than you're used to uh, doing normally. And for those who might have issues with second language interference, of course, it will be necessary to use a proofreader uh, and or to work with UFV's Center for Academic Success, which is a writing center uh, available at the Abbotsford campus. Now, what you'll be doing here is actually writing a newspaper article, so it would be wise and, in fact, necessary to obtain a copy of the Cascade first in order to just sort of survey it, understand its format, content, and some of the sections that are available. Now, the article you write should be based on any topic of local interest and follow the W5 plus comment format, in otherwise who, what, when, where, why, and how the story plays out according to your uh, literature. And you can feel free to move out of your comfort zone. In fact, uh, both Kat and Jessica were quite clear with me that I should encourage students um, to write something other than an opinion piece. Uh, of course, if they receive too many opinion pieces, um, then not many will get published. They will select uh, a few articles submitted over the summer for actual publication, and they've been clear that those submitted earlier in the term will be the ones uh, that are more likely to be published because they have um, actual print publication still occurring through the early parts of the summer. Uh, those submitted later in the summer, uh, if they're of a certain caliber, may be reserved for publication online or uh, in the print versions of uh, the September uh, or the, the new term um, editions of uh, the Cascade. And they said, feel free to move out of your comfort zone again. So, so try this out. See if you can have some fun with this. So again, black, back to our Blackboard uh, LMS management system. Um, again, on the left-hand column of your navigation pane, uh, if you go down here where it says Cascade Article Sign Up, and you click on that, it'll take you into View Sign Up Sheet to join a group, uh, which you can then do. Uh, and then you will have the option, as you can see, to choose the week that you want. Um, right here, you choose this is one week, and then there's week 11. I don't know, they're, they're, they're quite out of order by the look of things. Um, 14, 5, yeah, they're a little bit out of order. Uh, that's okay. And then you choose the week that you want and then it, you click the sign up. It'll automatically assign you to that group. Uh, so Kat and Jessica will come to expect your submission during that week. Uh, and of course, as you can see here, only four people are allowed uh, to sign up for a week. Um, so again, if you have a particular week uh, that it's important to you um, to make your submission in, uh, I'll encourage you to sign up early and quickly uh, because once four people have signed up for any given week, um, the opportunity to sign up for that week uh, will be closed. So back again to page six of the course outline or slide 11 in the accompanying PowerPoint presentation. The second assignment of the three required for the course will be the review of a TED Talk video. And as you can see at the top of the page in red, uh, I've identified the video, How Boredom Can Lead to Your Most Brilliant Ideas. Um, and I've also included a link uh, that you can cut and paste into your web browser. Or if you're using the actual course outline on the Blackboard LMS, you can probably just click it. And this vi the video um, makes reference, uh, and certainly the, the uh, assignment itself, you'll need to have a review of chapter 11 of the textbook, pages 342 through 7, and especially also pages 350 to 4, um, which is the actual assigned reading. If you look again at the fourth week of the chart outlining the weekly reading responsibilities, um, that reading is in the third column of the fourth week, which the assignment is due. All right, sorry about that strange interruption there as I'm learning to manage my video technology. 
Inevitably, we'll have a couple of those. Uh, now, moving on to uh, page 7 of the course outline or uh, slide 12 of the accompanying PowerPoint presentation, uh, I'd like to review the third of three assignments, which is a movie-watching reflection. Um, and you're entitled to write about any single feature-length film that you watch this semester. So you'll be required to do that. I'm hoping that taking the time to watch a film is not the hardest assignment you've ever had to do. And once you've actually watched the film, the reflection will have to do with briefly explaining, uh, you know, what the movie was about. But your focus will be on addressing uh, some of the uh, following audience-related questions you can see listed in the assignment there. Um, who chose to watch the movie? What factors guided the choice? What goals were you trying to achieve? What mood were you trying to manage? What was your level of attention? Did you skip parts? Did you multitask? What did you enjoy most and least about the movie? And were you happy about the time you spent uh, when you finished watching it? Now, these questions uh, will lead you to reflect on related movie watching experiences inevitably. But most importantly, this assignment connects to Chapter 7, Audience Theories, Uses, and Reception, uh, particularly uh, page 196 through 226. The evaluation requirements are the exact same for as assignment two, and so it would be wise to review those. And just like assignments one and two, this assignment is also worth 15% of your final grade. And once again, as you can see on the chart outlining the weekly material, um, this is assignment is due in the fourth to last week and the, th the fourth column you can see assignment three due and as was the case with the previous assignment the reading uh, required for the assignment uh, is not is the chapter seven um, that was actually assigned previously so you can review that reading or catch up and review other reading uh, during that week once again, though, um, the Sunday, July 21st at midnight, the submission portal on the Blackboard LMS will expire. And so, as always, it's important to ensure uh, that you get that submission in before the portal expires. And so that's it for the first video lecture accompanying our online course materials and our weekly reading, which uh, is important for you to sort of get your head around as quickly as you can, uh, navigate the Blackboard LMS system, have a look at the weekly materials, become familiar, of course, with the submission portals and the assignments that are due. And in this first week, because it's actually a week and a half starting on a Wednesday, uh, the reading is a little bit longer than for other weeks. Uh, but at the end of the Sunday, of course, quiz question submissions are due um, for the uh, this first week, and I look forward to surveying those. Other than that, once again, uh, thanks for joining me for our survey through Media Communications Theory in Max 110, the summer online course. I look forward to working with all of you. If you have any concerns or questions, feel free to contact me using the contact information listed on the course outline. Otherwise, good luck, and I hope everybody has a lot of fun.